What's going on guys, it's SGA Sports and welcome your faces back to a brand new video. This is episode number 62 of our Youth Academy Regens with Cambridge United. As you see on screen, we play Watford. Before we get into that game, if it's your first time here and you like FIFA 18 career mode content, hit that subscribe button, turn on the ding dong notifications to get notified as and when the uploads go live on the channel. And make sure you leave a like on the video, that will also be great. Before we get into the game then, we've got a bit of transfer business. As you can see, Peter Harris has now been sold to Bolton Wanderers for 1.8 million. The board have allocated 1.3 million to our transfer budget. And we also have offers for two players. Narka is wanted and also Archie White. Let's go take a look at these offers now. Um, wow, Narka is going nowhere. Even for £35 million, he is going nowhere. So I am just going to simply click that reject button. So Middlesbrough have shown interest in purchasing Archie White for a fee of £7.7 .7 million. Pounds. Ah, nah, I don't think so. Fuck you, Middlesbrough. So the first game of the episode, then we take the trip to Vicarage Road to play Watford. Watford are at home and they're in their away kit. We're away, we're in our home kit. Reason for this, we don't want to avoid any click colour clashes. So that is being looked after there. So starting 11 is Naranski, Morello, Trembley, Teddy Davis, Turner, Narka, Bennett, Ferreri, Van Leeuwen and Wilters up front. Wow, I said that a bit quick. So Watford's going to get us underway. They are probably have got the league title wrapped up by now. They are well ahead of us in the league. But the thing is, we need to pick up some points if we're going to solidate our place in that second spot. Let's try and get a point. Let's try and get three points. Anything that we come away with this game will definitely benefit us. Here comes uh, Will Hughes. Lays it forward towards Pepe. Laid off towards Gray. Whoa. And they nearly went one up. Did Watford just quick passing. It was pacey as well. Good little one-two. And a decent snapshot that just whistles past the post. Here is Van Leeuwen there. We need to make things happen in the final third. He stabs it forward up towards Wilters. Wilters is going to try his distance. Oh, he's in the post. Oh, please, man. Don't be doing stuff like that. Here is Morello. Bennett and easy onside. He is. Wilters has got a bit of space. Here he is. Wilters. Oh, he's in the post again. Oh, we've hit the post twice in a matter of minutes. And we definitely got a foothold of this game. Watford's defence are crumbling. Here he is. Wilters again for a third time effort. He has another dig. And it's easy for Lopez to save. Narka comes in well to intercept. Oh, it's been intercepted as well. Teddy goes in with a slide challenge. Here come Watford. Morello's got back well. Oh, it's just get it clear, lads. Tremble with an outstretched leg. Will Hughes in towards Gray. Chance and they've scored. What awful defending. It's very unlike us. Teddy is furious. We just couldn't clear the ball. Watford pounds and Watford take the lead. It's 1-0 and it's Will Hughes that's put Watford in front on the 37th minute. We've been the better team. We have been the better team. Look at this here. Trembley's like they tried to play it out of danger. And they just kept it alive and it's a nice finish and it beats Naranski. And we are 1-0 down not long before half-time. Will Hughes strikes. Bottom corner, 1-0 Watford. Adds on two additional minutes. Here is Van Leeuwen. Looks to dink it over. Looking for Ferrari. He's got it here. Ferrari then can he swing a ball into the box? He can. It's Bennett with the header and it's hacked away by Kafkart. Well, there goes the half-time whistle. We have been the better team in that first 45 minutes. But we do trail Watford by the one goal to nil. In towards Narka. Now Toby Turner looking to go around the outside of Watford here. Here is Davis. Van Leeuwen's peeling away. Van Leeuwen looks to lead it towards Wilters. Yes! Get in! Finally, Wilters has equalised. He deserves that. He's had two efforts that hit the post in the first half. This time, third time lucky. He smashes it into the back of the net. And what a way to start the second half. Sends the Cambridge fans into raptures. A fantastic bit of play. Good football all round. Davis into Ferreria, into Van Leeuwen. And the pass by Van Leeuwen was on the plate for Wilters. And we have smashed one pass. The best defence in the league. They've only conceded 16 and we've managed to turn that 16 into 17. Let's hope for more if we're going to win this game. Oh, waiting for openings in the Watford defence. This is lovely stuff. Here is Van Leeuwen on the turn. He will look to shoot. Oh, good strike by Van Leeuwen. You never know from him. He is a genius at striking the ball. And Lopez was equal to it that time. Freria back towards Toby T and towards Van Leeuwen to save himself. Might get another chance at here. Van Leeuwen. Oh, it's a good save. He might get turned in yet. Oh, it's off the line by Alexander. Well, it was not off the line, but it was blocked. It was definitely heading goalwards. Will Hughes then keeping all the possession close up towards Gray. Laid off towards Pepe. And they've put themselves in the lead. That's their first real effort of the game in the second half for Watford. And that's why the top of the league, they, get, they create a chance. And nine times out of ten, they finish it. A lovely work worked goal by Watford. And I'm gutted about that. We've done extremely well. And Pepe's there. Beats Naranski at the near post. Just passes it into the back of the net. 
And it's 2 1 to Watford. It's a nice finish, to be fair. So they're making three substitutions then. Ponce Martin and Graf come on for Bennett, Van Leeuwen, and Turner. Here is Graf, lay forward towards Wouters. Laid off towards Narka. Here is Narka. Finds Martin. Martin on the shot. It's looping. Oh, what a goal! <laughs> Martin's first touch. And he comes on and he does something like that. What an unbelievable finish. Wouters would have been proud of that finish. And we've bounced back. We've pegged Watford back straight away. Narker into him. And Martin with a lovely finesse. Loops over the goalkeeper into the back of the net. What a finish by the big Australian. Oh, it's lovely. Look at that for him at that angle. It loops, it dips, it does everything. And it beats the keeper and it goes into the back of the net. And we've pulled Watford back. It's 2-2 now. Is the chance for us to go and get a winner with the round and about 10 minutes or so remaining. Martin then has seen the run of Wilters. That's a lovely ball by Martin. Here is Wilters. Jinx back inside. Wilters. Oh, he's hit the post again. Oh, he's done it three times in this game. Oh, my Lord. Wilters has been so unlucky. We could be winning 5-2. Well, there goes the full-time whistle. We take a point with us back home to Cambridge from Watford. A superb display. We was little unlucky not to win that game. Last time we played Watford, we did get beat just by that one goal. This, this case is a different story altogether. We should have won. We've picked up a point. It's finished Watford 2, Cambridge United 2. Wow. Leeds United have shown off for him purchasing... Wooters for a fee of, wait for it, 3.8 million. Add another couple of O's after the three, and then we might be able to talk business leads. How dare you insult us, and how dare, how dare you insult Wooters like that? He's valued at 3.8 million. How about leads? You take your offer, shove it where the sun don't shine, and fuck off. We say there's no chance for offer then. This time it's from Derby County for Ferrari for a fee again of 3.9 million. Are they having a laugh? Why have our, our players? Should be highly rated better than this. I know they're overalls, but we're going to reject that. Transfer deadline day then. 10 hours left. We have already got out. Carter on loan. Mitrev and Harris have departed the club permanently. So the transfer deadline day has now ended and it was a bit disappointed. But Q, the transfer offers on the 1st of February or the 2nd of February. We're going to take a look at our youth academy. We haven't really invested in the youth academy that much this season. And the reason being is because we've got so many players in the side. We have shipped some off. So we're going to take a quick gander at this now. Galarado is a 58 overall. Potential 82 to 88. Bradley Green then. We're going to promote him. What a player he looks. 62 overall. Potential 92 to 94. Looks insane. Some of his stats look incredible. Crossing, 94. Ball control, 94. Free kick accuracy, 94. Curve, 89. Now, me and DK was in a Skype call a couple of days ago. And it was DK was saying that some of the stats of this player, when you promote them, don't physically have this as stats. So let's use his agility, 93. Let's use his crossing, his ball control and free kick accuracy at 94. Because... Rodolfo Gaming, I think I've said your name right, I do apologise if I've butchered your name, he's a regular viewer on the channel, he comments on pretty much every video. Even he said that when you promote these players, this is not the stats that they go into the first team with. However, me and DK did a test with this guy on a, in a Skype call, and he had the same agility at 73. So we're going to take a look at that. We're going to promote him to the senior team, and then we're going to have a look at his stats to see if he does actually change in overalls or anything like that on the specific, specific stats. Wow, you get your bloody words out. Yannick Defrense is a 63 overall, potential 88 to 94. A centre midfielder, looking very good. We'll keep him there for the time being. David Alpan is age 17, is a cam, potential 88 to 94, overall of 63. Oliver Vallet is a left winger, 52 overall, potential 82 to 88. And we've got Yosha Tumai, right midfielder, 16 years old, 57, potential 83 to 89. We'll keep hold of him. And we've got, oh look, we've got the guy that I've just mentioned, uh, Rodolfo Oliveira, CD. M overall a 48, potential 82 to 88. We're going to keep the rest of these players in the squad. Let's go take a look at Bradley Green. So Bradley Green then, we're going to take a look. And it is true that the stats in his youth academy don't carry over straight away. That's the potential that he's going to get to, which is, I'm completely fine with it. I just did a test and I just wanted to see what it was like. So this is a good sort of indication to what we've got. He's still got good agility at 75. He's got curve at 62, free kick accuracy at 75, I think that was at 94, wasn't it? Um, his crossing was definitely 94, it's in at 69. He's got four start on the weak foot, three on the skill moves. He's five foot seven. 
Oh, these work rates are both low, low. What a waste. Nah, why do that to us a year? Next game of the episode, then, we take on Leeds United at home. The starting eleven is Naranski, Morello, Tremblay, Teddy, Davis, Turner, Naka, Bennett, Ferreria, Van Leven and Wouters up front. Let's go. What's he doing up there? Get back here, mate, and help out. Here is Wilters. Go towards Narka. Narka lays off. Wilters then will finish. No, he won't, because Janssen gets him with a block. For area, mate, though, he won't shoot. Get it. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, good defending by Leeds. Into the pocket of space. Here is Van Leeuwen. Lovely ball up towards Wilters. Yes, he scored this time. That's goal number 19 of the season for Wilters in the Championship. And the team that came in with an insulting offer for him, he has punished them in the 20th minute here. And can Wilters go on and get a hat-trick? I hope he does, just to shut Leeds United up for that ridiculous offer that they came in with. A lovely ball by Van Leeuwen. VW linking up, as always, on his lefty, into the top corner. Vival, no chance. We're 1-0 up. Comes from sunny Spain to take Leeds up again. And he's trying everything here he can to beat our superb defence. That's a lovely ball through to Bicky. Should have equalised, really, for Leeds then. Allowed to turn, finds Samuel Sayis laid off towards Chibiki. First touch the same self and he smashes it into the top corner. Wonderful finish by Chibiki. Oh, it's an outstanding finish by him. Great touch. And for the first touch made that, it was a lovely first touch. And he just smashed it into the top corner with his right peg into the back of the net. Leeds draw level on the 43rd minute. Good play by Leeds. They kept the possession really well. We were just trying to set up and get our shape at the back. But that's a great finish. And Leeds are back on level terms. It's 1-1. Bennett then in towards Wilters. Wilters with a touch. Wilters getting into the area and it's hacked away. Ferreri might get it here. Might have a chance to cross it into the box. It does. It goes in. Van Leeuwen's the target. Janssen will hook it clear. And there goes the half-time whistle. It's 1-1 at the break. Here late in towards Wilters. Wilters, lovely ball around the corner to into the path of Bennett to put us back in front and he has done. Brilliant ball by Wilters was that and Bennett was there to arrive on, on cue and sm take a touch, just smash it into the back of the net. We take the lead for the second time in this game on the 48th minute. We've pegged Leeds back and Vivald had no chance and he looks disgusted with his defence. Look at this touch from Wilters. Lovely. Into the path of Bennett. One touch to save himself and bang across the keeper into the empty net. 2-1. We're back in front now. Janssen's giving it to Wilters. Wilters going forward. Here he goes. Wilters then. We've really got the ascendancy in this game now. That's another lovely ball by Wilters into the path of Ferreria. Across Vival, but he's equal to the shot. And Berardi stops it from going out for a corner kick. So here we go then. We make the change. Then Bradley Green wearing number 20. One will replace Ferreria. Green will make his debut. Then a lot of hype around this player. We we'll go forward here. Teddy's got Grot to deal with. Grot lays it back to the edge of the area where Ronaldo Vieira laid it towards Chibiki for a second. Oh, they've hit the post. Green going forward, laid up towards Van Leeuwen. Turner's pushed on here a bit too far forward for my liking, but Toby T will go slide it in towards Wilters. And it's to 3 1 and it's 2 for Magic Captain Wilters. Get in there, lovely ball by him, a lovely ball by Toby Turner rather, and a lovely finish by Wilters in behind Janssen then. I think it was Janssen number 18, yeah Janssen, and boom, Wilters smashes it past Vivald again. Wilters is one away again from the hat-trick. Green will just keep possession, finds Turner, receives it back, here goes Green going forward again in towards Wilters on the turn on the hat-trick, lovely turn, Wilters penalty, surely referee, oh no way! Narka then, can he have a dig from distance? He's seen him score from here before. Oh, he hits the top of the bar and it bounces out for a goal kick. Here goes Green, he'll cut inside. Looks to switch it towards Bennett. What a great ball that is. Into the path of Bennett. Bennett then will lay it off. Van Leeuwen arriving. Oh, good strike. And the referee does blow the full-time whistle. We have picked up three points yet again. It's four points out of a maximum of six so far in this episode. And our push to the Premier League is looking very, very good. We're taking each game as it comes. Captain Wilters was outstanding today. Van Leeuwen also. And we've picked up good three points here in Cambridge against Leeds. It's finished. Cambridge United 3. Leeds United 1. Final game of the episode then. We take on Bolton Wanderers then away from home. A couple of changes in the side to tell you guys about. So Naranski stays in goal. Morello, Trembley, Teddy and Davis. The usual back four. Naka and Turner also in the CDM positions. Ponce is now on the right hand side of midfield. Bennett drops to the bench for a rest. Cortez also comes in at left hand side of midfield. Martin gets a chance again up front as Van Leeuwen is not fully fit. And Wouters is alongside him. Let's go. Up towards Martin, the big man looking to turn, looking to create the yard space for a shot. Does really well and works the goalkeeper and Longsdale will clear. Naka then, it's lined up beautifully for him. Oh, he's hit the bar. What a great strike by him. And it's cleared away by Bolton Wanderers. Corner kick then, Bliska will take it. In it goes. Oh, it's a great header. And it's Derek. 
Derrick has put Bolton Wanderers 1-0 up with a one from the training ground ball played in by an ex-employee of ours, Beliska. And Derrick beat everybody to the ball and heads into the top corner, passing the Ranski. And we are 1-0 down. And this is not going to plan. We're not used to coming from behind in games. We always take the lead in games. But look at this here. It's a great header. The keeper had no chance. It's 1-0 to Bolton Wanderers. Ponce then going forward, Wilters is inside, Bolton are playing five at the back, Wilters has worked it through to the space, here is Wilters, oh it's a good save by the keeper, Cortez won't quite get there, and it's cleared away, and we have won ourselves a corner kick, Martin love the ball around the corner, here is Wilters, then works the space to get his shot away, straight at the keeper, and it's cleared again by Bolton Wanderers, Wilters then going to line up a shot again, oh you're joking me! Well, there goes the half-time whistle. We are behind at the break. 1-0 to Bolton Wanderers. I think Bolton are in the top six as well. We need to turn up in the second half. We've done everything right in that first half, apart from we've conceded and we haven't scored. It's 1-0 to Bolton at the break. Now here is Wooters. Laid off towards Martin. Martin back towards Wooters. Wooters! Oh! I think he's got his boots on the wrong feet today. He's having plenty of chances and he just can't quite convert one of these chances into a goal. Ponting up towards Wooters. Wooters lovely flick again. We've seen him do that before Martin then. Here he is Martin. In towards Wooters. Oh and it's a good save by the keeper. Wooters trying to place it into the bottom left hand corner of the goal. And we're looking to break with a lovely ball and that's into the path of Ponce then. Ponce has got a bit of space. He's got a bit of agility as well. He's got speed as well. Look at this here. Ponce is bombing on forward. Ponce into the area. Laid off. Here he's caught. Cortez, yes, he stabs it into the bottom corner. What a great finish by Cortez, and that's his last action as well as we're bringing him off, and Green is going to replace him. Martin is also the guy that's going to come off, and Van Leuven to replace him as well. Them two celebrate. Great work by Ponce down this right-hand side. Went through the Bolton players like there wasn't even there. He had a lot of space, a lot of time. Picked his head, and Sincourt's arriving on cue. Smashed into the bottom corner, past this goalkeeper. We're back on level terms. Let's go and get a winner now. It's 1-1. One, one. We'll feed it towards Ponce. Ponce for the first time ball. Turner's arriving. Oh, what a save, and Turner can't hack it back in. Oh, what a great save by the Bolton Wonders keeper. We do have a corner kick. Here is Van Leeuwen up towards Green. Green, what's he got in his locker? Green going forward. Laid off towards Van Leeuwen. Lovely ball, Van Leeuwen. Oh... It's gone wide of the mark and Van Leeuwen's struggling to find the net as well. Wooters and Van Leeuwen haven't had their shooting boots on today. Teddy's gone to closing down. Love the Cruyff turn. Tried to feed it in. Carry Jan's there and he taps home with 10 minutes to go. And Bolton, I don't believe this. Bolton have just literally had two attacks and two goals. And it's been, I don't, I don't understand. The way football goes, Bolton, frigging Bolton of all players. Naranski. Not sure what to think of this guy so far. He's been beaten very easily in this game. I, I might be being a bit harsh on him uh, in the first goal and maybe even harsher on this one. It should be really at the near post. That's twice we've seen him being beaten at his near post. And Bolton Wanderers take the lead again. 10 minutes to go, 2-1. Well, there goes the full-time whistle. We have picked up a defeat in this episode. Unlike us, is that we still got 10... We asked before game, it was 10 points clear between us and third place. And I think Bolton are in the top six and... It's a game that we should have won, and, and another day we would have won it. Wilters and Van Leeuwen just did not have the shooting boots on. Bolton certainly did, and they pick up all three points. Bolton win by two goals to one. So by this episode is coming to an end, as you can see, we still are in second place in the table. The gap has been narrowed from ten to seven now after us picking up a defeat away at Bolton Wanderers, who are in eighth place. Watford are pretty much home and dry now. The gap between first and third is pretty stupid. I can't be asked to do the maths. The gap between us and Brighton is seven points. We need to keep on going, we need to take each game as it comes. We've done extremely well in this first season in the Championship. I want to really go up now automatically because we have been second for pretty much most of the season. Once we got in that second spot, we have pretty much stayed there. Thank you so much for watching, boys. If you have enjoyed this video, then please give the video a like and I will see you on another video. And goodbye.